Hi everyone, it's Veronica and I am here to share my submission for Christmas in a Flash with Lady Cree. Lady Cree issued a Flash challenge and it was to make anything Christmas related. It could have been a card, a, a box, a, just whatever you wanted to do. Um, so what I will do is put a link in the description box to her video regarding the challenge so if you still want to enter you still can it had to be um, your video had to be up by Friday September 15th so you have until midnight on the 15th so please just um, enter if you have not gotten started with your Christmas projects or if you want to uh, continue creating because I know a lot of people have already started and started back in January. So anyway, uh, and just to support her, she is an awesome, awesome woman of God. She is a wonderful crafter, makes the most beautiful projects, and her cards are just amazing. So um, again, the link will be in the description box. So what I'm going to do now is just share with you what I created. I happened in Hobby Lobby one day and found this on clearance recently I had not seen it um, and I know they had clearanced it out but I just never would get it and one day I just happened to walk in and there it was so I don't know if someone returned it or what but love 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 it so I'm going to share with you my project um, for the mini and here it is um, I used pure poppy paper by um, paper tray ink just ribbons and embellishments that I already had in my stash. I did not go out and purchase not one thing. And that's a big thing with her is to use what you have to create. And we have plenty of stuff. So um, that was my goal, not to get anything. So here I included um, four pl pages plus the uh, front cover and back cover. So that's 12 if you want to put something on the back side didn't do much as far as embellishing because you do want this to stay flat because once photos are placed in here it is going to expand just a little bit um, this is the side of it so you can see I don't have too much space left but what I did do was took a sticker from the paper collection and this was the Echo Park Christmas paper I am so sorry that I don't have it sitting here but that was a gorgeous, gorgeous paper collection. Absolutely love it. And I cut one of the uh, cut aparts, placed that in, just made a little pocket here. Most of the pages were left blank so that full photos could go on. This was another sticker that was in the collection. And that, that collection I know is several years old. I do not know what year it came out but it is absolutely gorgeous and you know echo park papers are gorgeous anyway so these are the pages and here I took one of the cut aparts just rounded the corner to kind of match the page and um, added one of the journaling spots here and on the back side, this was from the collection as well, so you can actually put the date, the, the year that this Christmas took place. So that is my submission. Thank you, Lady Cree, for the challenge. Uh, I have been wanting to go ahead and get this done. And believe it or not, I actually cut the papers for a second one. So I am good to go. Just need to put it together. And I do have some more of these embellishments left, so that's perfect. So they'll be pretty much the same. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Happy crafting.